American Trade Association's really pushing the White House. I've got two letters here sent to me from American businesses. Uh, I counted 45 to 50 trade groups in just these uh, two letters, all with one message. Mr. President, do not do this. The negative effects of tariffs on Chinese businesses will actually far outweigh the benefits. Uh, there are so many quotes in here. I'm going to read you one uh, from the American Apparel and uh, Footwear Association. Tariffs are a hidden tax on Americans, plain and simple. More than 41% of clothing, 72% of footwear, and 84% of travel goods sold in the U.S. are made in China. A tariff on these products would be a tax on every American. In addition to increasing costs for American families, this action could result in retaliatory tariffs that target American businesses, resulting in job losses. At the end of the day, this could be disastrous for American families uh, and American businesses. Now, all this comes, as you know, as the U.S. president has focused very much on the trade deficit between the U.S. and China, which is about $375 billion a year. And despite advice from most economists and some of his own staff, he is fixated on getting uh, this number down. It's a number he really uh, looks at rather than, than other uh, trade numbers. He is asked for tariffs. Apparently, he was presented with $30 billion. He said that wasn't big enough. Uh, there could be uh, tariffs of up to $60 billion. Now, American businesses complaining, obviously, about this. What about China? Well, China's sort of taking a wait-and-see attitude, as they've seen with the tariffs when it comes to steel. There has been a, a bit of listening to industry and then uh, responding, exempting countries, for example. Uh, maybe this will happen here. Maybe they'll get watered down, water down. But China is warning that basically saying, look, this is no way to conduct trade policy. We've got a problem. Let's sit down face-to-face -face and talk about it. If this does spread and there are more tariffs on Chinese goods, as well as there's talk of perhaps controlling visas for students, as well as cutting Chinese investment here in the U.S. as well. It's difficult to see how China won't respond. They could do so from everything from Boeing aircraft to soya beans from Iowa. It would be a nasty trade fight indeed and do none of the two world's biggest economies any good at all. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House in Washington, D.C.